What's up guys, I am back and the first public beta for iOS 14 is finally here. That means anyone who is not a developer can test it out and use iOS 14 right now. But in this video, I'm going to tell you if you should or should not. Now before talking about this update and the features, there is one thing you all should know that this is a beta version. That means this is still in a developing stage, so there will be a lot of bugs and the stability won't be as good as a real version. But that doesn't mean this is by any means a laggy update. This is super smooth and I'll get to that in a second. But let's talk about the main features in iOS 14 public beta. Now right off the bat, the biggest new changes come to the home screen with widgets and the new app library. So you can add all your icons and make your home screen less cluttered with this new app library. So all your icons, all your apps will be in that library and it'll be sorted by Apple themselves and all of them will be in this folder situation. So you open them up and they expand to reveal all these applications. Now the widgets are a similar story. You can stack them up and you can add them individually and they show a bunch of information regarding the what widget you add. Now most of them are stock at the moment but in the coming updates more and more apps will take advantage of this feature and incorporate their applications with widgets and right now it still works pretty well. And most of you will be happy to know that picture in picture is finally here with this update. Now it works pretty well but as of now not that many apps support it so the support is pretty limited but it works pretty well and you can use it anywhere in any app and the screen remains at the bottom and you can resize it, you can pause it and you can just swipe it away and it works pretty well. Now this has to be the best and the most demanded feature hands down in iOS 14, a better and a smaller call UI. So now it's not full screen and not obstructing and you can even choose it if you want it full screen or in a banner size and it's amazing. Now this was a quick overview of all the new features in iOS 14 and if you want to know more about the other features and the hidden features, I have already made videos on that which I will link down in the description. But let's talk about the update itself and if you should install it or not. So right off the bat, this update is just amazing. It's probably the biggest update to iOS that has happened since iOS 7 and there is a lot of new stuff to play with. And it's, as I said, just amazing. I mean, the app library, the widgets and all that stuff makes the experience way better. And this update isn't even laggy at all. I mean, this works pretty well, as good as the real deal, which is supposed to come in September, which means that most of these apps are not able to take advantage of these new features. So not all third party applications support picture in picture or widgets right now. So that will be coming in September. Most of the companies will take advantage of it then and not now. So you will be able to access all these features, but they are still in some sense incomplete and not fully done. Now, if all of that bothers you, then you should probably not install this update. I mean, the battery life is going to be bad. The storage is going to be really messed up and there will be a lot of bugs with this update. But if that doesn't bother you, then you can install it right now by going to Apple's website and enrolling your device. I'm going to show you how to do that. So go here. The link will be in the description. Scroll down, click on download profile. And once you do so, you will be prompted with this very prompt asking you to agree or ignore. So click on agree and it says profile has been downloaded. Now go to settings, go to the main page and you'll see the profile is downloaded, access it and the profile should be there. And once it's there, just restart it and the phone will start installing iOS 14 public beta. Now take a few pointers. Make sure a battery is above 50% before installation and your phone is connected to a stable Wi-Fi connection to make sure the update is successful. So that is pretty much it. This update is wonderful and if you are not worried about the battery life and the apps not being supported, then go ahead and install it. It's just amazing and there is a lot of stuff to play with. But if all of that scares you, then you should probably stay away from this update and wait for the final deal. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All the links will be in the description. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.